Hello everyone. Uh, hopefully this makes it up. Um, I'm actually waiting on a truck delivery right now. That uh, in fact, this whole morning I've been waiting. Um, so went to help out my mom and went up to her doctor's office. They were supposed to have her prescription ready, and uh, got there and said, "Hey, I'm so and so here to pick this up." And so they're going through and rifling through some papers at the front desk and. He says, uh, what, what is it you're looking for? And I says, this here, th this is who it's for, and blah, blah, blah. I'm not trying to get into specifics. <clears throat> so, um, anyways, it just, it, it, uh, you know, they went and walked around and looking for things or whatever, and they came back to, uh, I, you know, some other nurse says, well, who are you here for? And I said the whole thing again and went to the same pile of paperwork, ruffled through it, and didn't see anything, and... This went on for about 20 minutes of them. Uh, three times they asked me who, you know, who I was there for and everything else. And I says, listen, it's very simple. You know, my mom called yesterday. They got everything ready. All I'm supposed to do is come pick it up. Well, someone probably just didn't do it. I was like, okay. I was like, you know, well, uh, how do we get this done? Well, we'll have to wait for a doctor to write a new one. So uh, I go through, I was like, well, how long will that take? Oh, so, you know, just a couple minutes. I was like, okay, fine. So I was sitting there waiting. About 10, 10 minutes passed by. And I was like, hey, um, did you get a chance to get a hold of the doctor? You know, well, uh, they're busy. I'm like, yeah, well, I'm standing here. So, okay, you know, how long uh, How long is, you, gonna, is you think it's going to take? Oh, it'll probably take about another 10 minutes. Like, okay. So at this time, I've been standing there for, you know, about 15, 20 minutes. And, um... I'm getting to a point here in a minute, but, um, so anyways, sitting there waiting, 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 and, uh, another nurse came up and, you know, uh, said, well, you know, what exactly do you want? I mean, just like in that same, what exactly do you want? I think, well, my mom has a prescription, and this is so she can get an oxygen, uh, thing where she can, you know, because she has the one at her house. Uh, but it's very difficult for her to travel. So we've been trying to get one so she can go outside the house and actually walk around with one uh, without carrying a big tank all over the place. So anyways, that, that whole thing went down and I tried to explain it like, we're, you know, we're trying to get this and they already approved us. They already got, got everything ready. All we need is this pr prescription to get it done. So, um, sorry, I'm watching someone drive by. Anyways, uh, so, well, we'll have to figure out how to handle this. You know, that was the one that was very rude to me. So, then, um, I was like, well, she already said she had it handled. We're just waiting on a doctor. Well, I don't know. Let me go check. Let me go check. And, I mean, it just, the, the incompetence there was, you know, starting to get really high on that scale. And, um, it got to a point where, you know, I, I called my mom and said, hey, you know, I've been here for a little while and they don't have anything ready. Who did you talk to? You know, she's like, they're supposed to, and then my mom's yelling at me, talking about they're supposed to have everything ready, and I says, I know that, but they don't, you know, and, and it just, and me and my mom had an argument this morning because of this, oh, so, hold on a second. All right, I had to pause that for a second. Um, but yeah, it just, it got into where, you know, um, Everybody there would just, I don't know, it got to a point where because I was standing there, they just started getting real rude and um, they kept saying, well, this, you know, my mom was saying this person, you know, said that she's going to get it taken care of. And then I asked about that person and she's in a call center somewhere, not even on the property. And, you know, my mom's yelling at me talking about, well, she's there, she's there. And I'm like, no, she's not. Well, yes, she is. And I'm like, no, she's in a call center. Anyway, it just became a big ordeal between me and my mom and it's just unnecessary because someone didn't do their damn job and then on uh then while i was waiting i had a a call and the delivery of door glass uh is coming in today so i was like well i gotta go i can't be here anymore and um he said he was on the way and then i've been here for like 30 minutes and he still hasn't showed up which i know i beat him here but and it just got me thinking about the the people who just don't care 
about their jobs and you know this whole thing about people not caring about having a job people not caring about the job <clears throat> and um, you know like while I was standing there at the nurses you know the nurses station or where all, they do all the paperwork in the front um, just I mean I was literally I didn't have nothing to do so I just stood there and you got the little office and everything in the little glass window <clears throat> And uh, there was like one nurse right in front of me. There was another one over there and then a couple in the back and the ones in the back were all on their phones and uh, one was shuffling through paperwork and highlighting little lines on paperwork and she actually pulled her mask down and sneezed and then put the mask back up and I'm like that just don't seem right. And I don't give a shit about masks or something but if you're going to go through the motions of saying okay. You're in a doctor's office, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it just, it's more or less the hypocrisy and just the lack of caring. And, you know, the, the, the people there just did not care at all. I mean, that's what I'm saying. And these are people who are supposed to be saving their life. And, you know, and I see it all over the place. I mean, you, you go into any restaurant. And when, when have you ever actually had really good service? I mean, you, you can find it, but it's rare. But, um, I don't know. It just, it's been a, it's been a really aggravating morning. And it was unnecessarily aggravating because all this stuff, you know, I mean, the nurse was blatantly lying to me because she just kept, you know, making up things. And I was, you know, because the third time I asked her, I was like, well, it's, you know, first time I was like a couple of minutes. Then it was 10, 15 minutes. Then I said, I was like, well, what's a real number? I was like, don't just sit here and try to make me feel good. I was like, what's a real number? I said, well, we'll just get to you when we get to you. I was like, I know that. I mean, I'm. but what I'm saying is that, you know, we're we talking another 10 minutes or we're we talking end of the day or we're we talking three hours. Said, well, it might just be hours. I was like, well, why didn't you tell me that to begin with? You know, I was like, you know, do I need to come back or what the hell's going on? You know, and and uh, it, it just got to a point where she would just, you know, in fact, she grabbed her purse and just got up and left. You know, and I'm like, well, now I'm just standing in front of an empty kiosk here. So I w walked over to the other one. I was like, hey, maybe you can help me out. I was like, you know, we, we have this pretty, he's like, I don't, I'm not part of it. I don't even want to talk to you. And this, and this is a professional doctor's office. And it's just, it's, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'd understand, you know, if I was off the street and we haven't already been there. And I mean, this is, in fact, this whole prescription, it's been a week we've been waiting on it. So. Oh. The guy that comes around and picks up scrap. He's driving by, waved at me, sorry. Um, but yeah, that's been my whole morning and it just, you know, I know a lot of mechanics, you know, and, and I'll be honest with you, when you send your car in to get it worked on, you'll be lucky if you get 70% of the stuff repaired. I mean, I, I've been, like, you know, I've dealt with cars pretty much all my life, and I know what it takes to fix a car, and, and I go, and a lot of my friends are mechanics, so I go up there late at night and hang out, you know, and, and you know they ping things off of me as far as you know ideas of how to fix things and you know and, and I just go up there and, and spend time because they're always working they work till six seven o'clock at night and you know if I'm bored in the middle of the day I just kind of stop in and just go and hang out with them and and if you ever have an opportunity to do that you, you know and I'm not talking about a tire shop that's different I'm talking about a, a dealership mechanic place and but they do not work. I mean, I like I even said, hell, I should get a job here because when I come here, I'm doing more work than you guys. And, and but they literally sit around on their phones half the day, you know. And I know part of us waiting on parts. I know there's an aspect of that, but you know, like mechanics, you know, and, and they they will rig up some shit on your car and you will never know it. I mean, not until years later if it breaks or something like that. But you know, and it's and. The, it's it gets to a point to where it seems like nobody cares to do their job like when I get you know like I don't want to work I'll be honest with you I really don't want to work anymore 
because everywhere I go, I don't see anybody else working. So I'm kind of like, why the hell should I? You know, but it just, and maybe it's my circle. Maybe it's the realm that I go in that maybe I'm only seeing one thing, but it's, it's gotten to a point where, like, I'm scared, you know, like when I go gro buy groceries or like whenever I go, up, you know, and have them work on my car, I'm there when they're working on it, you know, in the back, turning wrenches with them to make sure it's done right. And these are my friends. These are not people I don't know. These are the people that I know, you know, and, and, my dad's my my real dad has uh you know been a mechanic all his life so i mean i grew up in mechanic shops and this is still talking about the job expert the people that you know that just don't care and and back in the day people actually tried you know sometimes they say well we can't get this part or they don't make it anymore or we can't find it so here's an alternative and they and they you know modify then and that's an understandable thing now it's like you know, well, let's just go ahead and do it this way, and nobody's even going to know it. You know, and 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 uh, and how many of them literally sit around playing games on their phone and being on Facebook and Instagram, and so I don't know. Maybe I'm just ranting, and maybe I need this to get it off my chest. So I thank you for listening to me. But uh, if you want, tell me some other things that uh, where you see people just not caring about their job and like. You know, they're ready to walk out at any minute. You know, I mean, you would think that the people who work on your cars, the people who, you know, uh, that are supposed to be there to save your life, that they they would care about their job, but it doesn't seem that way. So, anyways, that's it for now. Um, I'm going to make a video later on. I'm, gonna, I'm still waiting on the truck, which, you know, that was, it's been an hour on that. He said he'd be here in 30 minutes, so maybe today's my day to just wait which as soon as I get this door glass I'm going straight out to the job and getting it put in so anyways that's it for now peace love money I'm out